Does the quesadilla have a limit? Does it? No. I like to think it doesn't. I don't think it does. Can quesadillas cross-pollinate with, like, the Asian-style yes. food? Yes. Magoo. Magoo. Well, then today, we're going to cross-pollinate. We are going to decide to just go into the dunes what? with the quesadilla. We're going to the dunes? The dunes. I wish I had a great dune movie quote, but I don't. Because cause they're all really slow. It's a really slow one. Look at this lens flare. Spice. Ethan oh, is that? Whoa. Spice! That's not, they just talk about spice. Okay. Pure, unrefined spice. Hey guys, I'm so glad that you are here. My name is CJ. This is CJ's first cooking show. Okay. Right over here is Nate. That's right me. over there is Ethan. I am so glad that you guys are with us. Today we're going to have some fun. Like I said, we're cross-pollinating worlds. Quesadilla, Asian food. Readiness, recuperation. Thai sauce. All the things. It's the best of both worlds. If this is your first time watching, you're gonna have a blast. Be sure you find something to sip on because every time the bell rings, we ring it and we bring it. Well, there's not much to say. This is gonna be a fun one. But before we go, we could go two different roads, like the Choose Your Own Adventure books. Did you ever read those as a kid? <laughs> no. No? I so, never <laughs> learned to read. Anyway, so today, Ethan, we're going to let you choose our adventure. Are we going to start with the chicken or should we start with the coleslaw? Coleslaw? Makes more sense. We're going to start with the chicken. <laughs> so, here we go. <laughs> I've got... <laughs> never uh, gets Ah, uh, crap! <laughs> See what happens? See what happens? See what happens? I'm choosing my own adventure. See? Should have started really... with the coleslaw, right? What's that? All right. Should have started with the coleslaw. Right. Maybe we should have yeah. started with coleslaw. So, my friends, I'm back. You know what? And he's back from outer space. <laughs> Am I just here with that sad look on my face? Now it is a Thai chicken quesadilla, so we've obviously got to have some chicken. Quesadilla. Today I've got some delicious, fatty, dark mm. meat tender chicken thighs, boneless, skinless chicken thighs. We are going to season this up real quick before we go to our Blackstone. So um, make sure to spread those out, add a little bit of olive oil. We're gonna do a pinch of salt, pinch of pepper, coat this on all sides. And also today, my friends, Get we're gonna be here. using the brand new Blackstone Island Stir Fry. So we're gonna get a nice covering of the season on all sides of these chicken thighs. And behind me, we've got our Blackstone that is preheating on like a medium high. Shmedium. If you know him, does he call you at home? Do you have a dorsal fin? Basically, what we're looking for is that nice, well done chicken because chicken tartare is no, not dude. a thing. And nay, dude. Nay, nay, I say. Speaking of nay, can I just give a little love to nay? She is oh, no. a longtime fan of the of show. Mine. Nay, I see you. Her name is one letter away from mine, just so you know. <laughs> Yes, it is. The least important letter. Now, as we said earlier, we're choosing our adventures. Our second is... What'd you do? <laughs> <laughs> All right. All right. Our second adventure is going to be our quick pickle of our slaw. Uh, this is a fun... This is a fun hack. I feel like this is actually a pro move, in my opinion. Um, Buying it already done? Well, okay. This is a quick... <laughs> Hack pro move. We're making our own quick pickle slaw. So I've got some pre-done, pre-sliced vegetable slaw here. We're shredded. Gonna that's fine. That, that's, that's, you do this a lot, actually. This is a you're CJ right. move. You're right. You're right. So I wouldn't call it a pro move. Oh, oh dang, that uh, stung. Nine one one. Can I get some ice for that burn? Oh, oh that was a stinger. Yeah. Although I will respect it. Sorry, Ethan. That was that was rough. So I've got some slaw, some shredded carrots. Now to this, we're also going to be adding some rice vinegar. This is the major component when pickling something. You got to have the vinegar. The acidity. The acidity is what takes us home. So we've got some rice vinegar. I've also got a little bit of sesame oil. This is going to give us that flavor, that robust. There he is. Sesame. Asian mm, nature savory. style flavor. It's very savory. And then also to this, I'm going to add a little bit of white sugar. Now, we definitely oh, want this sweet. swimming okay. in the liquid. So make sure you have enough rice vinegar. If you don't have enough, add that. Don't add a ton of sesame oil 
a little bit goes a very oh, long yeah. way. And then honestly, gonna add a little bit of that sugar, add a little bit of this Boy, island stir fry. Not. We're gonna add that to this as well, set it aside, and let's move on while it's sitting, hanging at resting. Oh, you know what? Our chicken, I'm gonna flip. Before we ring it and bring it, let's uh. Kick flip, bro. <laughs> oh, yeah, nice. Let's see. Oh yeah, that's good. We'll do a flip here. Oh, dude, that that seasoning is doing really well. It's got it a, smells amazing. It's got a sweet nature to it, but obviously not too much. It's not burning. Bam, bam, bam. Let's hang out. Bam, 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 bam. Oh, black Betty, bam, 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 oh, Blackstone. Betty, bam, bam, she's from Birmingham. Bam, bam, way down in Alabama. I would say this is probably the star of the show. The co-star is the island stir fry. Gotta be creamy, right? Oh, it has to be creamy. So we've got some Peter Pan. Think you ever got anywhere dressing like Peter Pan over here? We've got some awesome Peter Pan creamy. Let's do, um, let's do two heaping. Heaping. Heap. Y'all. We got two heaping spoonfuls of the peanut butter. Now, coconut milk. You know, oh, yeah. I have only used coconut milk in really one pina other coladas. yes one other occasion and yeah. that is with pina colada so we're gonna add a little bit of ooh, hold on oh it was a little cold out here yeah it is stay cool bird boy ooh, okay let's uh let's just there, do at, well you're doing the the cream part well i was gonna stir and try to see if i can't incorporate some of the goods let's see how this goes okay <laughs> oh jeez <laughs> i'm gonna cut i'm gonna take your I'm that works okay yeah it's like coconut water yes with milk yeah. Solids. Dude, it's why gonna you... be good. It's gonna be fine. Shit. Ow! Right on the lens. There we go. Gosh, I really freaking hate your condescending. I I was being condescending is what you were being. <laughs> uh, now there's no spoon that will work for this. So we're gonna grab That's just all you needed. Little little red curry paste, dude. Red curry paste, sorry, thank also you. Also potent. Yeah, you don't wanna delicious. go you don't wanna go too heavy. Um ooh dude, the, the aromas are also just quite pungent. It stings the nostrils. I love the, the aroma vinegar, don't you, CJ? It's delicious, right, Ethan? I hate it so much. <laughs> <laughs> that is the bane of our existence. Mm. We've got a little bit of rice vinegar. We've got that acidity cruising right mm -hmm. there. And now for the savory element, we're gonna do a little bit of this Man, it's sesame. It's strangely familiar. You I'm know, loving all the flavors. I came up with it. I, I had an epiphany. What's an epiphany? Sudden realization. Of great truth. Okay. Yes, I hijacked this from Nate. I'm not ashamed of that gospel, but I what I it. would be ashamed of is if I burnt the chicken. Oh. And I'm not going to. So I'm gonna go into it. I'm gonna do this one more flip. Ooh, good looking. Yeah, buddy. Come on now. That seasoning is giving us a nice crust. Uh, I've got a little pinch of salt, and I think. I think that's it. That's it? You feel that's good it. about this? I feel, well, so far so good. For those of you at home that haven't used peanut as the base of a sauce, it's really simple. You can go a million different directions. You can go the exact same direction I went here, like CJ is. <laughs> also, hey, I I'm gonna thin this out with a little bit of water. Yeah, sauce game is where you really elevate, I think. Where I elevate or anybody elevates? Anybody, but I'm, I'm talking about you right now, in this moment. All right, let's... That's let's, beautiful. Let's what is that, some... velvet? What is that, velvet? Oh, man. Can I? Please. We're friends, right? We are friends. And it's technically your oh, recipe, yeah. so let me know if you think it needs something else. I would a little more red curry paste if it were me. And a touch more vinegar. But hey, you don't have to. <laughs> yeah. I don't. You want it to, it's just, it's very peanut buttery right now. Yeah, that's what I would do. Okay, well, and then, what? oh, was that too much? <laughs> is that too much? I don't know. <laughs> And a little bit more That's rice. It. Yeah, that'll do. All right. Anything scum. else? No. Salt, pepper. No. no. Love. Island stir fry. Love. Oh, that's what. Island we're... stir fry is not a bad idea. That's a well, good variation. This just went to CJ's recipe right, right. here. I'm, I respect. What, what, what do you say? I, I approve this message. You Chuck Norris approved. Yeah. Yeah. You know what? It needs just a bit more. See? So I was taking your crappy recipe. We're learning <laughs> one thing. And hey, dude, one thing changes everything. Yep. That's it. Yep. 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 So before we ring it and bring it, I'm actually going to go ahead and pull off my chicken thighs because my friends, that is done. 
Gonna let it sit for just a second before we start chopping this up. Basically get it into bites that you're comfortable with. Um, you know, you don't want giant chunks of chicken in your it, quesadilla. You also don't want itty bitty. You also don't want itty bitty. You want the appropriate sized chicken bite. Uh, that looks perfect. I think, yep, it's definitely time. We We've been it. busy. We've been busy. Got a lot going on here. Busy. Okay. Dude, we are done with all of our We're necessary Tom components. Cruising. It's time to cruise on to the building part of this. Now, the first step before building on your Blackstone, you're gonna have some gunk, some chicken fat, some Residue. things that might not necessarily be what you want on your quesadilla. We're gonna go ahead and clean that off. Get us a nice, clear, clean palette. Add a little bit of olive oil back down. Now, to that, we're gonna throw down a couple tortillas. This is pretty basic. Uh, we're gonna do some sauce first. Add a nice mm. layer. You don't have to go too heavy, because I'm also gonna have so another creamy. dipping sauce at the end. Another uh, sauce later? Uh, you'll see. 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 Uh, now to that, we're gonna add some mozzarella. Uh, you wanna put cheese all around. We're gonna give that a moment to melt just a hair, and now it's time to add the, the chicken. chicken. The, the pollo. The el pollo loco. Now we're not gonna do this on all sides, we're gonna do this on one side. Mm -hmm. Now on top of that, we're also gonna be adding our quick pickle Asian slaw. I'm gonna give this a little mid dust of the island teriyaki. Look we're gonna you, flip that. Dustin. And basically, what you're looking for is melty cheese inside and a crispy golden brown exterior. You're a multi flipper kind of guy. You know, I'm a multi flipping kind of guy. This is gonna take just a couple minutes on each side. Flip as you need until it is nice and golden brown. Then we're gonna pull that off. And look, to plate, it's pretty simple. It's cut it's, it and plate it. Yeah, you, you cut this up. But for plating, we're gonna add one last sauce. I'm gonna use a little bit of this Thai peanut sauce in a little bowl. Then I'm gonna add some hoisin sauce. Okay. Now this is like, like an Asian, Asian barbecue. barbecue. This is gonna give us some sweetness, but it's also going to kind of move out of the exact flavor that everything might be soaking mm -hmm. in. You know what I think I'm gonna do? I'm probably gonna drizzle this across all of these little delicious triangles. Top that with one last garnish, some green onion, you know what? We have them. Let's Dude. add some bicolor sesame seeds. Okay. This, my friends, it's is, ridiculous. you know what? It's probably, yeah, it needs a post. It's my style. Always. It's my style. Add a little post us of island stir fry. My friends, this is freaking. Oh, no! We haven't even eaten it yet. Not yet. Gotta say. This turned out really freaking beautiful. Do you gotta say? I do have to say. You don't have to. Because you wouldn't say, so no, somebody's gotta say. You interrupted. I was gonna say, very well done. This looks <laughs> like something you'd find in like a gastropub. It 100%. Looks great. It looks great. I mean, it's a reach. It's a, it's, it's a quesadilla, but it's a really beautiful quesadilla. This is not a beginner. Definitely. No, it is not. We're, it's like we're a gastropub that was trying too hard. Sh yeah, I, I don't disagree with you. I'm excited to try it. Uh, How's that? Is that a compliment? It I'm is, excited to try this. I, it is a compliment. Let's give it a, let's give it a run. <laughs> Were you taken aback? Wow. You know that scene when Neo? I did it again. I did it again. Look at you. You know what I would have done more? What? More of the, the coleslaw in there. I would add more coleslaw. It looks Dude, the sauces are all money. This exterior sauce, that's the freaking- The one with the, uh, the hoisin? Yeah, that's the game changer right there. That changed the game with the game. The game has changed, son of Flynn. Guys, what do you guys think? Can we cross pollinate like our worlds like this? Oh, we did, we done uh, did it. We done did it. Will you try this one? Uh, yeah. uh, I think you guys should. If you won't, tell me why. Either way, speaking of comments, we've arrived at that time, my Ooh, friend, where you, it. the people, get a voice. Here we are. This is CJ's favorite comments of the show. Ladies and gentlemen, it's time for CJ's favorite comments of the week. So pumped that you guys made it to this part of the show. Uh, this is basically the segment of the show where I screenshot comments from mm -hmm. you, the viewers. You guys, if you write it. We read it. And then we display it for everybody to take part of because you've already done it. <laughs> yeah. But now I'm going to read it because some are really nice and some are really mean. Start with a mean one. Okay. This one is mean-ish. Actually, mean -ish. it's, it's kind of mean to me. It's mean to you. It's mean to Betty. It's mean Whoa. to Bruce. It's mean to Ethan? Destination Delicious. It's mean to Chef and E.T. 
Whoa. It's, it's not mean to Todd because this one comes off Todd's video. Whoa. -oh. It comes from El Rorito01. Rorito? Like a play on burrito. Oh. El Rorito01 says, honestly, those raw steaks looked picture perfect. I took a look at those. Yeah, those steaks did look great. They looked awesome, dude. Well done, yeah, Todd. Yeah, Todd nailed it. Uh, am I the only one that strictly only watches Todd's videos here <laughs> at Blackstone? I always click exit dude. on all others. Sorry, but true. Wow. Thanks. To which I commented, agreed, bro. Those, those other guys are lame. It's true. All right, El Rorito 01. Um, guapo. At lucky for you, <laughs> <laughs> there's a lot of Todd videos to watch yeah, and a lot Todd's of ours awesome. to exit out of. It's a sweater. It's a sweater! Okay, this next one comes in from Freddie Vaughn. Freddie Prince Jr.? <laughs> Freddie Mercury. Stop that. Uh, says, I nominate CJ for the Waffle House Hall of Shame. <laughs> oh no. I mean fame. No, I don't. You had it right the first. Time. I don't. I don't know why, but it just got me. This was on the chicken parmesan good. video with uh, me and Tyler from the land down under. Yeah. Hall of shame. Hall of fame. Either way, we all love Waffle House. I'm making waffles. Okay. Uh oh. This one comes in from the Red Roaster. What do you think? Is it going to be nice or mean? The Red Roaster. The Red Roaster. The Red Roaster. It's red rum. Mean. Red rum. Red rum. Uh, Red Roaster says, these videos are a dog and pony show. Yep. Just show the cooking and not all of the BS in between. Stuff in between. What? Oh, darn. darn. Red Roaster, dude, I'm sorry. He's not I, watching I right assume now. you're a dude. The, you're Sir Dude. The Dudeness. What's El his name Duderino. again? If you're not into the whole brevity thing. Okay, here we go. Uh, this is a nice one, a fun one. This is great. The DW931 says, great show, guys. Yes. There are 11 D or 11 T zillion cooking shows to choose from. I want to watch wow. those with production quality, food quality, and entertainment quality. And this show checks all three. Wow. Nate's show, two Whoa. out of three ain't bad. Two out of three? Wait. Is the scale of three? Well, two out of three, the production quality... It's Food my quality. 71st birthday. Oh, nice. And I like half as much as you, as yeah, much as you much deserve. deserve. <laughs> P.S. I can't believe there were no shrimp on the barbie. Clips with your Australian, no, Austrian. He said Austrian. That's Australian friend here. It's are it's there. New Jersey. Although I would have guessed <laughs> New Jersey. Oh, literally wow. said that. That was he interesting. He made the movie quote? <laughs> well then, <laughs> good day, mate. Wow. Is this the same guy that said my show's the, his favorite? No, you're number two out of three. Okay. Who does number two work for? That's right, buddy. You show that turd who's boss. Don't blow out an O-ring. <laughs> <laughs> hey, that, that sounds pretty nasty. How about courtesy flush over there? <laughs> well, how perfect of you to bring up the movie quote scenario that you either intentionally or unintentionally did. Pretty We're going to do a new brilliant. segment. We're going to do a new segment on the show. A new, where another new Another one? new segment. Jeez. What where about the old you ones? viewers get to get involved again. We want to see the best movie quotes that you leave mm -hmm. in the comments below. Wait, does below. it have to be relative to the episode? Kind of needs to be relative. If it's way out of left field, then it's just great. We'll just accept it. Just swing for the fences. Yeah, just... It always felt wrong not to swing. Felt wrong not to swing. So, leave us... A movie quote, and we were inspired by this because we just recently got a bunch of movie quotes in the comments. So this first one comes in from Brian Royer. He says, Hercules, Hercules! Hercules, Hercules! What? Do or do not. There, there is, is no try. try. There is no try. Aquaman says, the little lights aren't twinkling, Clark. <laughs> the little lights are not twinkling. And then the last one, which is one of my favorites, and you get to piggyback on this one. James Comey Headfield. says, Is this velvet? It's beautiful. What is that? The <laughs> he does the best <laughs> voice for that. So that oh, is how we wrap up wow. CJ's first cooking show with some fantastic movie quotes. Speaking of movie quotes, <laughs> hey, CJ, did you know? It has nothing to do with movie quotes, but I need to get my part in. Um, did you know that Dave Grohl actually chews chewing gum before and during their live sets? because huh. it keeps his mouth from getting dry. If I don't have gum in my mouth, my mouth gets dry and I gag and I'll barf. 
and he uses dentine ice. He says on stage, there's nothing better than a minty fresh microphone. Hmm. I was unaware. <laughs> I was unaware of that. Is that true? I feel like he makes. Did you also know that he said that over the years he's grinded the front of his teeth down because he's up on the microphone so much that it's literally slowly grinded away the front of his teeth down. Wait, he eats on the microphone? Mm-hmm. Why? You didn't know that. You no. didn't know that, did you? No, I didn't. How's that feel? I think you made it up. I did not. Girl, correct him. Let them know that that was accurate. We do appreciate you guys hanging out with us. Uh, definitely leave the comments down below. Leave your favorite movie quote mm -hmm. in the comments down below. Your favorite show. And for all the haters, bring it. I love, <laughs> I love, I sleep They're better here anyway. on a pillow of your hatred. It's so comfy and so cozy. Uh, but be sure to go to griddlenation.com where you can pick up shirts like this. Uh, you can pick up other swag like stickers and, and whatnot. And, um, but also, in case you didn't pick this up, we're wearing special bracelets today. Uh, we are definitely Moira Strong. Uh, Mariah and the family, thank you for sending us this. This is sweet. I love Moira. That's a good one. That's a good one. Good. Our sweet girl, we are rooting for you. We love you. We love your family. We know that you're going to press on through. And one day, we're going to be hanging out cooking together. End of story. That's all there's to it. Uh, so speaking of the end of the story, this is definitely how we wrap it up on CJ's first cooking show. If you didn't pick it up, this is definitely a show where we cook. And we quote. That's exactly right. Thanks for hanging out with us. Be sure to jump in on the quesadilla Asian fusion madness. I want to see what else you come up with the quesadilla. Throw anything you want on there. Let's do it. Le Lobster, let me know. Shrimp, and I'll no, salmon. No. I want to see it. I'm drinking. No. The drink means we're wrapping up. <laughs> Can't do anything else. Thank <laughs> you.